Hey, today I'm going to be talking about how to set up a paddleboard for offshore fishing. It's getting more and more popular and as I do it more I really enjoy it a lot more than uh, kayak fishing. First thing for offshore paddleboard fishing, you're going to need the right paddleboard. You're going to need something that's going to carry a lot of volume. It's going to hold a lot of weight. I like something with a good deep V. This one here, it's got hold uh, 400 pounds of weight, which is plenty after you get, uh, you know, you might put 100 pounds of fish into this. So starting at the beginning, got my gaff. Need that, you got a big fish, you may have to put a gaff in it, like a mahi, a tuna, or a wahoo. Next, the fish bag. Get a good quality fish bag. Okay, you can't let the fish sit on the deck of the paddleboard because it'll cook. Get a good quality one. I put frozen water bottles in it and also ice in it and it keeps that uh, fish fresh. There's a mahi in here right now. I'll be cleaning up pretty soon. Um, right here, make sure you get a camera mount. Have one mounted up front. Also, I have one mounted on my head. You know, people aren't going to believe the fish that you catch out of these kayaks. So have a you know camera mount up front and capture it. Offshore fishing, I think it's really essential. You gotta have a fish finder with GPS. You know, when I go offshore, I always say that 99% of the fish are in 1% of the water in the ocean. And I use the fish finder with GPS to help locate those spots. And in a paddle board, you're standing up, you need something that's really got a really good screen that's really gonna show even in the bright sunlight. This Ray Marine Dragonfly unit has been outstanding. It is really a good unit. I can stand up, I can see this thing as clear as day. It's like HDTV. Really do like the unit. It has a GPS unit on it, so if I do mark a good spot, I'm working a wreck, I can find it on this. Okay, and I have it so I can take it off. This whole unit is battery, and I got the fish finder, and also I got the uh, transducer all hooked up on one little unit. This whole unit will come off, and that way there, if I'm inshore fishing, it's out of the way. Also, a marine radio. A marine radio really does come in handy. And if I get in trouble, I can call the Coast Guard. If I'm out with friends, I can keep contact with them. Make sure you get this, the one that floats and it's waterproof. There's a lot of good ones out there. And even though it's waterproof and it does float, I try to take care of it. I keep it all usually on me when I'm paddling and I try not to get it wet. Another thing for safety, this is not mandatory. Of course, you have to have a vest. Okay, and your whistle, but when I'm offshore, and I carry this all the time, I carry a flare. I mean, it's hard for the Coast Guard to find a 24-foot open fisherman in the ocean, let alone a paddleboard. So if I'm in trouble, I can light this flare up, and uh, somebody's going to see me, and somebody's going to come rescue me. So I always put it in my bag. You never know. I roll it up. It's in a uh, freezer bag, and it's set to go. Next, I have a cooler. I like to have a cooler dry box. I can put my lunch, I can put my tackle, I put my gear in there. Got the paddle clip, I can clip my paddle to it. And um, all set up, ready to go. One thing that's very important is a good pair of sunglasses. A good pair of polarized sunglasses. It really does make a big difference. I was out there today, and those dolphins, I saw the dolphins. I don't know if the guys in the kayaks would have ever seen the dolphins or the mahi that we saw. I was able to cast out, we were able to catch a few of them. And uh, like I say, a good pair of Polaroid sunglasses is essential because that's the big advantage of paddleboard fishing. You can see the, you can see the fish that the, the uh, guys in the kayaks can't. Rod holders, make sure you got good secure rod holders. I have a track system put on. Some of the new paddleboards do have track systems. If not, make sure you got good secure rod holders. You want something if you hook a kingfish or you hook a wahoo that your rod's going to stay in place. A lip grip too, I use this a lot of times on if I get a big amberjack, I get a big fish up. If I don't want to put it onto the, uh, on, onto the board itself, I can just lift them with this and let them swim around. A pair of pliers, got them all hooked up. And now you notice I got everything bunchy down because it's easy, especially when you're offshore, to sit there, get this thing knocked off and it goes down into the water. You're gonna lose a pair of pliers. So I keep everything attached and set to go. Cup holder, bring plenty of fluids. I mean, whatever you use inshore, you're gonna drink four times as much offshore. Trust me, gotta have a lot of liquids out there. Also, I like to have a nightlight. Nightlight I have here, and it's, this is a Scotty's light with a flag. It's made for kayaks, but uh, 
It's a great option to have. You never know, you don't plan on being out at dark. Sometimes you launch early in the morning, it's good to have the light. Other times you don't plan on being out at dark, but you end up being out there and it could be a lifesaver. Live bait well. Live bait wells, if you're using live bait, you're going for sailfish, that's like a must have. Make sure you get one that's, uh, that won't overwhelm your paddle board. Your paddle board can only can, you know, handle so much weight. And a uh, five gallon bucket, that's a lot of weight. I'm not sure exact how many pounds of water it holds, but it is a lot. So make sure it's balanced on your board to where you can get to it and you keep your board balanced and keep it safe. Keep a little net too. Fish will jump out. I get goggle eye, I get mullet, uh, pilchers, whatever I'm using. I like to keep the lid facing toward me. And I, key, I do have it strapped down when I'm fishing. So I'm able to open that lid up get my baits and close it so I make sure I don't want the cooler turn around the other way where I have to open it up the other way. I want to open it so you know I can get to the baits easily. Put it in there. Like I say, I got one, two, three rod holders and uh, generally that's all I bring is three rods and I usually got one. One is a pitch rod and a pitch rod is for like when I see a mahi, I can throw out this little lure real quick. It's a small spinner, small bait caster, something I can throw out a bait quickly to. And then I got my live bait rod. The live bait rods are something I usually like to have monofilament. And this rod here, I got monofilament line. And then I got a backup of braid line. And the braid that like allows me to put a lot of line capacity on there. But the monofilament, 30 pound monofilament that I have on here, it's got a lot of stretch. So if you hook a sailfish, it's jumping. You got that, that stretch can be a big help as far as landing that fish. Getting to the, uh, the back of the board, a couple of things I do have on the back. I got my paddle, I got my paddle leash. And not my paddle leash, but my foot leash. This is like a surf leash. This goes around my ankle. And for any reason, I get knocked off that board, especially out in the ocean. You know, you end up, you know, hooking a big bull dolphin, it jumps or whatever, and knocks it. Somehow you lose your balance, you fall off that board, and if that rod holder's in the uh, rod holder, you're, you're never going to catch it. Also, I got a drift chute, and I take this drift chute, I'll roll it up, and I'll keep it in the back of the uh, board. And it's not for fighting the current, or when the current is bad, it's when I hook a really big fish, and it's pulling me out, and I need to put a little resistance on it. All I got to take this chute, throw it out back, it'll open up. And uh, once it opens up, it gives me a lot of drag, and uh, it can re really be a lifesaver on the, um, on, in the offshore. But this is how I got my uh, board set up for offshore fishing. It'll handle just about anything. It's a large board. And yeah, you find these boards are a lot heavier than the standard paddle boards. But then again, you can put rod holders on it, bait wells, fish finders, camera mounts, everything else. So there's a plus and minus to everything. So if you're looking to go offshore, get a good quality board and uh, get out there and catch some fish. This is Peter Hink for Palm Beach Beat Productions and always thank you for watching.